Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you another as seen on television product. Well duh, that's what I do here most of the time. 90% of the time. But today we're in that 90%. Today we're going to try all open multi-purpose kitchen can jar opener as seen on television. So this thing says eight in one multi-purpose opener and kitchen tool. So as you can see here, I have all types of jars and wine bottles, snapples and all kinds of things to open right here. Can you see it okay, right here? Right there. So I'm going to try to open all these guys with this one gadget because that's what it promises on the packaging. So, we're gonna test it. It will open jars, bottle caps. It will cut foil for this guy. It will screw caps for my Snapple. It has a corkscrew for my wine bottle. It will lift the tab on the soda pop or on my Rockstar or on my sausages. Those are my favorite. I know that's gross, but they are my favorite. It is also a wine stopper and it seals beverages. Here's my prediction. I'm gonna say about half of those are not gonna work and half of them are. It kind of reminds me of those 3D cameras. You know how they're round? That's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. So we're just gonna murder this thing until... <gasps> Who do I complain to about the packaging? It's so fucking annoying. I'm in my sweatpants today. It's kind of chilly in Texas these days. It's real chilly. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, what is chilly to you, Vivian? Listen, I'm an island girl forever, for life. So anything below 40 for me is like, shut it down, sprinkle some sand. Vivian ain't going outside for the next week. It has been legit cold here in Texas. I think it's been like 40 degrees. No, I think it's been like 11 degrees. That's cold for anybody, I would think. Got it. Ugh, there it is. Is there anything else in there? Oh, look at my instructions. I love companies like this. It doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Pretty cool, right? Now let's just figure, oh, there it is. There is our corkscrew. Do you see it? Very nice. Let me take whatever the hell that is off. It's like a little safety thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, this must be what we seal the soda pop with. I don't understand. Why would you do that? Drink your damn soda pop. First thing we're gonna do is a real easy one. That one should be easy peasy. We're just gonna pop off that little lid right there. Not a big deal. You can't fail on this one because then you fail for every time because that's an easy one. It's telling me to use this guy. Oh, it is that guy. I was gonna say that it's not gonna fit, but it actually fits perfectly on there. Look, like a glove. Look at that. Perfect. I thought this bottle was a little bit small or I thought the cap was gonna be a little bit small, but I was wrong. Very nice. Okay, so let's open it. It's just this twist top. I swear to God, if this thing explodes, we're gonna have an issue. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> nice. Voila. I have my sparkling juice. Test number one, done. The next one we're gonna do is this spaghetti sauce. It's telling me to use this end here. I think you're supposed to just hook it and then pop it. Wait, did I get it? <laughs> oh, I, I was doing it the wrong way. You don't pull it back. You know how you stick a butter knife in there? Have you ever done that? That's what I do. <laughs> I just stick a butter knife in there and then I pull it back. So I stick my butter knife in there and then I pull it back this way to pop it open. But you don't, you have to pull it forward and it worked beautifully when I did it right. Look at that. That jar worked. Can we admire the Snapple bottle? That's not glass. Snapple has perfected the plastic bottle guys. Look at this. So for the Snapple it's telling me to use this guy here. Oh and it comes in two sizes. A little smaller one and then one a little bit bigger. So which one fits? Okay that one doesn't fit and that one does. Oh man. What? No, it doesn't fit at all. Look at that. It's too big. I thought for sure it would get that. Maybe I have to squeeze it in. Nope. It, yeah, there is no amount of squeezing to get that in there. It is tight. Uh-uh. That's not gonna work. Oh. Number three was a fail. So two were a success. One was a fail. Number four is gonna be this thing, which I don't know what this is. So we're gonna try to cut foil. Where's my foil cutter? How do you cut that foil? What the hell are you doing? How do I take this off? 
says, how you do it? You see? <laughs> you just you just pull it out of there. I was screwing it like there's no screw. You just pop it out. It's really basic, guys. I mean, you just, Lord help us. Okay, this is the end that you're gonna use to cut this foil. But once again, it's not gonna fit my damn bottle. I mean, it kind of does. Okay, this one might be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna try it with this guy. The regular sized wine bottle. Is gonna work this one here if you have an odd shaped bottle with foil on it just grab some scissors because this is not for you this is just a standard wine bottle foil i think watch it not even work for this okay ready one two three go what's happening nothing well what are you doing just tearing up the f i'm not sure what's going on here but i mean it's kind of working and it's kind of not oh here we go Ta-da! We got the wine foil off. I don't know if you guys can see the picture there, but if you can see, the wine bottle is actually being opened with the little thingy in the thingy. What? Maybe this is like a safeguard so that it didn't explode or something. Okay. So we're just gonna twist, twist, twist. Da, da, da. Now what? <gasps> guys. It worked beautifully. That was perfect. Do you think it'll pop it out whenever I do this? No, you gotta have to unscrew it like that. <gasps> okay, but now you're stuck, stupid. No, it's coming out. How do I take this out? No. There we go, got it. I thought this stupid thing was like a gimmicky kind of cheapy product, but so far this damn thing is working. What the hell did I just do? I like it like that actually better. We have here a couple of cans, my little sausages. So we're gonna try to pop these little tabs first. We'll try the little sausages. Can I just put that there? Oh, look at that, it even has a stand and everything. For the little can tabs, we're gonna use the same little edge that we used to open the spaghetti sauce. Okay, yeah, no. Not easy. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to this uh, Rockstar, which the tab's already a little bit lifted. This one's pretty flat on there, so maybe that's why. So let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't, it's like it can't, it doesn't get under there. Am I doing it wrong again? I'm not, it's right there. I hope they're not thinking I'm gonna pop it up and then I'm gonna grab it with this. Wait, am I getting it? I can't see. Let me see. Here we go. Wait, no, it's telling me to pop it like this. Like, like that. It's trying, but no, it doesn't work. Okay, let's move on. The basic soda pop tab. Listen, dude, if you don't work, it's over. What am I doing here? Oh, here we go. Mm -mm. Get it, get it. <laughs> what is happening with this thing? This is too wide to get in between this little lip here and the actual tab. This is just not gonna happen, no. God dang. The basic soda pop can should have been automatic. It did not open any of these tabs. The last and final item that we're gonna test, which will be the tiebreaker, is gonna be the soda pop. It says it will seal the soda pop. Let's pop it open. It's telling me it will seal the soda with this thing. Uh, how? There's nothing gripping it. There's no, mm, there's nothing fancy about this thing. It's literally just a little plastic cap. I mean, what, you're just putting a little cap on it like this? Maybe I have to twist a little tab over like this. It doesn't show. No. How are you sealing? You're not sealing anything. Aw, seals beverages is what it says. There's no instructions, so don't tell me in the comments. Read the instructions, in. <laughs> I don't know anybody that talks like that. <laughs> In case you do, that's for you, sweetheart. Yeah, there's no instructions for this thing besides the pictures. And let me look under here before I say that. No, there are no instructions except that one little piece of paper right there that is pointing at all the little things that it can open. We already did all that. We're just trying to seal this soda pop so I can drink it tomorrow. Because you guys know what time it is that I'm filming this damn video. It's dark outside. Okay, so there is nothing fancy about this damn thing. If you put this cap on there like that, 
somebody is gonna make a damn mess and you're gonna be pissed off in your kitchen you're gonna start kicking some people out of your house but it's not their fault because they saw the seal cap they didn't realize it was a piece of shit that was a fail that was the deal breaker three actually worked four were a fail so i don't know that this gadget would work for me because i needed you to work on this side of the table not this side because i'm not cooking often i don't drink alcohol a lot and i do love my sparkling juice but i can just twist that shit right off for those reasons we're gonna give this cute little 360 camera looking gadget with a fake seal cap two vivian heads all right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product. It might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's very cool looking. I'm telling you, you can just tell people when they come over, hey, I have a 360 camera. Don't be touching my shit because I'm recording it. And they'll believe it. it really does look like a 360 camera. They'll be fooled. They won't touch your stuff.